and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, it is Monday. October 21st, you know what that means, right? We got the flashbacks. Usually uninspiring, but we got some big names this week. At least some brand names, I should say. Um, I don't know how excited I could be for these cards. I really gotta look at their stats first. I've not checked them out yet. They're not on the block just yet. Obviously, throughout the video, they will be on the block. That's what I'll show them to you. Uh, you guys know flashbacks. Flashbacks and veterans are usually the most slow promo. Um, I'm not usually a fan of them. No matter how big the name is, no matter how excited you get, they always seem to botch these cards, which is very weird because in years past, flashbacks were like a hype day. People were like so excited to get like flashbacks used to be the rebirth of an older vet that's in the league right now. So like let's say Indama Kung Su, now that he's older, you'd be hyped for a flashback too because that card would really regain the prime stats of that card. Running backs, like the Shady McCoy flashback they did. In years past, you'd be hyped for a flashback McCoy in the Eagles. You know why? Because they wouldn't give you, literally what they do is they take the stats of the current McCoy and make them slightly better. That's wrong. It's a flashback card. It should be what his stats would have been in 2014. In 2014, Shady was at the top of his game, top three, maybe top two running back. He should have had a 90 speed. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's how flashbacks should be run. And in years past, that's how it's always been. Like when they dropped that Landon Collins flashback to uh, his rookie or sophomore year, he did amazing. They gave him top stats. They gave him like an 88 speed, a 90 plus hit power, good zone. That's how flashbacks should be. Like if they did a, there's so many good vets that deserve flashbacks but they don't give them proper stats. The flashback card, literally, if you look at them, the flashback cards just slightly enhance their current veteran card or their current old old ass uh, muck, regular muck card, which I don't like. I love, uh, hopefully as the year goes on, what they gotta do, they gotta catch up in overalls. Flashbacks should not be 89 overalls. They should be, like we're competing with 90s now. I understand you guys might say, oh, but we need little overalls for uh, for more budget teams. Yeah, well on a budget team, I hope you're not using the flashbacks because on a you can get a lot better stats for cheaper cards. That's the other issue. Budget cards have better stats than flashback cards. Flashbacks literally have no relevance. It makes for good content. It makes for something to talk about. It makes for some packs, um, cool names that you might want. It makes for a good theme team, but they should be top tier cards. I should want to have a flashback card on my team. And so far this year, there has not been one single flashback that you want on your team. Landon Collins with the 95 hit power was about the only one that seemed kind of intriguing, but then his zone was, was not there. So you'd have to use him as a box safety, which kind of handicaps the uses you could actually have for that Landon Collins card. But enough about ranting about the flashbacks. If I, I could do that all day, guys. I'll rant when I go to the auction block and I go look at some of the stats. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell. You won't regret it for your Madden daily content, um, everything to do with Madden. I make every kind of video. Hit the subscribe button, boys. Let's get this 11K as soon as possible. And the next goal, the next big milestone is probably either 15K or 20K. I'm super hyped, boys. Hopefully by Christmas we can hit 20k, the big 20k. So let's keep on grinding, guys. Comment down below what you think of these flashbacks. Actually, rant. Go rant down below what you think of flashbacks. I want to see all. I want to read all the rants. Entertain me for the day. And make sure to drop a big like on this video, boys. All the OGs, the Nodi gang. Comment down below, OG Nodi gang. Hit the like button, boys. Show some support. Now, let's head on over to the store to see the flashback prices. Uh, usually, I don't think they change until the next series update. So pretty much what they did this year was they made sure that you couldn't make coins off flashbacks. Because last year, when they would introduce new flashback overalls, they wouldn't always update the, the training value for that first overall drop, so they could be a reroll set. Because see, right now, this guarantees you an 87 through an 89. So an 87, essentially, if you pull that, you lose training. An 88, you just about break even. And an 89, you gain a ton of training. Now, but the way they're doing it is that they make it literally so there's three potential overalls to pull. The first one loses you. The middle one you break even and the third one you make so it's like a 33 33 33 percent except 66.6 percent .6 of the odds you pull won't gain your training so you're working with like a one-third chance of gaining which isn't exactly horrible but it's not that even i would if it was that even it makes sense but it's not 87 is probably have like a 70 percent pull rate 88 is probably have like a 20 and then 89 is probably have a 10 i don't know exactly yeah it doesn't even give you the things there but you guys get what i'm saying if it was even 33 33 it'd be worth it because you'd either break even break even you break even and gain more than you lost but it's not like that so once they drop 90 91s they're going to update the training value so essentially they made it they made sure that it would be cut in thirds for the whole year same with veterans and same with heavyweights which kind of sucks because last year people you guys know like gut fox and those guys they'd always post videos on reroll sets though th those were banging last year like reroll sets were kind of it last year it's a shame they don't want to let us get our coins it was a great i've seen people like initial all flashback drops to make like a million coins just re-rolling and getting because like if they allowed you to get 90s out of this pack right or they went with that same value, you'd pull 
the odds would be 87s would be a loss. 88 would break even. 89s would gain a ton of training. 80, 90s would gain you double your training. It'd be way worth it as a reroll set. And even then, it'd still be kind of risky. But they're really making sure you can't gain anything this year. Now, let's go check out the 89s. Uh, the new drops are Mark Ingram and I believe Akib Talib. So we gotta check when those guys go up on the block. They usually don't go up right away. Now, point proven here to show you guys real quick to go around about stats. Like Jarvis Landry back in the Dolphins, his route running was really good and his catching was top tier. If they're gonna give you a made four speed, at least give him 90 catching and like mid high 80 uh, route running. Let's see another guy that I wanna complain about. Deshaun Jackson. Flashback to Deshaun Jackson, week 2015, a lot younger, should at least have a 90 speed. Like there's just so many things. Shady McCoy, 85 speed on the Eagles back then? No. Elusiveness and agility 88 and 80. No, it's just it's not Shady McCoy. I'm not a fan of the stats, guys. But let's go keep refreshing the block. I'm about to skip forward in the video to when these guys drop, because as you guys know, these don't typically drop right away. I'm gonna update to 90. I don't think they were 90 drops, so I'm just gonna check. Yeah, I doubt it. So I'll be right back, guys. Let's go wait till these guys drop on the auction block. Alright, guys, we're gonna be doing this over on Twitter because obviously no one ever actually opens flashback packs that often, so it's kind of hard to find them on there, but here you go. Keep to leave. 2009 week four that's a young Talib right there that's Talib 11 years younger he's mid-20s probably wow that's a that's a young Talib right there but see my problem with this a young Talib did not have an 84 speed I don't I don't comprehend that young Talib in 2009 did not have an 84 speed they give him more speed on his old card 88 excel 88 agility 89 play rec 93 jump you give this card 88 speed and this is a very usable corner 90 man 84 zone 89 press you give this guy an 88 speed and you could come up power him up this car would be one of the better corners in the game with decent hit power decent run defense decent hands this car would be very very useful but of course they don't he's got clutch high motor uh strips ball yes aggressive in the air but overall he's six foot one 205 you give this guy 88 speed and he's very useful i just don't know this a physical 94 like why do they always gotta see what i'm saying they don't give him the proper stats with flashback to leave flashback to leave was way better than this and i know he was Flashback Talib was one of the best back, best cornerbacks in the league. And of course, they crap on his speed like usual. But then they give him a good excel. Like, I don't know why they got to make these cards unusable. No one's going to be using, unless it's, a, it's not a theme team, like a Patriots theme team, a Broncos theme team, or a Buccaneers theme team. Even on a theme team, this card might cap at like a 90 speed. Even on a theme team, with, with Sprinter and everything. You'd have to spend a ton of coins. Even then, he'll just be usable. He'll just be any other cornerback at that point. I don't know why they do this, guys. Let's back out of this real quick and go check out the new Mark Ingram. And he's gone. That's cool. All right, let's refresh that real quick. There we go. Mark Ingram the second. 90 overall flashback. They even gave Mark Ingram a pretty decent speed for a Mark Ingram card. Now, again, even then, flashback on the Saints 2016. I know he's not the fastest guy, but you got to make him usable, right? What is the point? of? I feel like this is just, I'm going to call this fluff content. That's going to be the new word for it. Fluff content is when they just drop cards just to say they drop cards, but there's no use of them. They don't actually want to give us value on the flashbacks. 85 speed, 88 excel, 84 agility, 79 strength. His strength is better than that. His speed should at minimum be an 87. So at least be usable, right? A Mark Ingram card with an 87 speed is fair. I know he's not the fastest, but how do you give him a 90 truck and then a 79 strength? He's a trucker. His juke's an 89, which is really good, actually. I'll take the juke move. But with that 85 speed, you know, that even if he jukes, you know he's not breaking anything after that. You don't have to be scared of his juke. You have to be scared of Barkley and Mark Stallion and their jukes because if they hit that juke on you, they're going, they're going 90 to the house. Mark Ingram hits that juke on you, you know you're just gonna catch him from behind. 89 carrying, which is decent. 85 ball carry vision, which is decent. 84 stiff arm, not bad, and 89 break tackle. His receiving stats are subpar, but that's okay. He's never really known as a receiving back. But just ridiculous. Give him an 87 speed and an 86 or 87 agility, and I'm okay with this card. I won't I can't argue because it is Mark Ingram and he's still in his older stages at 2016. But overall, I think they kind of botched in the content today. I mean, I don't mind the names, but the speeds are too slow, guys. Let's head back on over to the Madden screen real quick. All right, guys, so let's check the auction box, see if they went up. I doubt they are because they're never up on time. But that is about it for the video, guys. Yeah, they're not here as per usual. For some reason, no one, I mean, people probably just don't, they don't care to pull for these cards anymore. But that is about it for the video, guys. Sorry for the flashback rant. I just got, I had to do it. Flashbacks have really been getting on my nerves as of late. They just don't give them the love that they should be getting. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, boys. It may not be the best content because still come here and watch me every morning. I still have like four videos coming for you guys today, so stay tuned for those. Some pretty good ones and obviously some way better ones as the week continues and we get some more most feared content. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Go down below, comment your flashback rant, entertain me, give me some paragraphs to read or even one word. You could probably describe it in one word. 
watch them watch your language a little bit though and guys thank you for watching i'm out hit that like button let's get this video to 150 likes show some support all the ogs and Odie gang that's it enjoy the rest of your day make sure to check out the rest of the videos i'm out see you guys next video peace